Hey, what's up guys? My name is Oyas and welcome to the 27th tutorial. So for now you guys already did a lot and if you were following along, you um, um, you build the jQuery chatbot and you know some basics of jQuery and you're actually capable of creating a, a website right now. And we coded some CSS and HTML code and stuff. And now we're working on this jQuery portfolio, which is uh, it's going to look very cool. And, uh, well, before we continue building it or improving it, um, I want to make a simple visual improvement on it. And Because I, I don't like these errors. Uh, I don't like the space between the arrow and, the f and, the f and this edge and stuff. So uh, let me uh, fix it real quick. So, I hope you guys are using Google Chrome since this is the best browser. Well, it's not a commercial for Google Chrome, of course. But uh, anyway, if you're a web developer, um, Google Chrome is a very, very good browser for you. So, what I want to do now, I want to adjust the position of these two arrows. So, what do I do? I uh, just select this element in the Google Chrome Developer Tools, which are really awesome. And I have this image. So. What do I have? Um, I don't want to work a lot on it. Well, I, I know there are way better workarounds on it, so, but I wanted to do it very quick and simple. So, what I want to do is I want to move this um, arrow to the left a little bit. So, um, I will use a negative margin left property for it. I'll just say minus one pixel. And you can use your um, up and down arrows uh, on your keyboard to uh, adjust it so I'm now I'm just I'm just going down and well now you see when it's three pixels it fits perfectly so we'll keep it and we uh, and I also would like to add some opacity to this arrow because I don't like uh, the way it appears on the screen it's uh, I want to make it like semi transparent so I will just set its transparency to 50% like this well, now it looks way better, and uh, we had just have to memorize what we did. We uh, picked up the, the image, the left image, and added some negative left property of uh, 3 pixels and opacity of uh, 0 0.5. And now let's just go ahead to the project, to the CSS file, and grab the left image. So, and what I want to do, I can actually just copy this right here and paste it here and uh, we can actually use this opacity what I did and so I just cut the opacity I'm not gonna delete it and we can paste it right here for the TD elements so as well as right so that left will be 50% uh, um, tra transparent and now I'm gonna do the same with the right one because I hope if I uh, pick the right one and say margin right of minus 3 pixels it's going to look um, as I want it so let's just go ahead and make a test yeah now it looks way better and now I'm happy and we can continue working on our jQuery portfolio so the first thing I want to do I want this um, I want the these arrows to kind of uh, to to uh, to be not to be so transparent when I hover o hover over it, so the user gets kind of an effect of hovering over it and uh, just add some interactivity to it. So let's just go ahead to our jQuery uh, source code to our JavaScript code and add a new selector, a new event for the hovering over. So what I want to do is uh, I want to select the TD element, which is actually uh, hold on, let, let me figure out a little bit. I can select the right and I can select the left at the same time. And I can use this mouse over function. And let's just try to, uh, to go ahead and say this dot CSS. Remember we did it like in the very first tutorials, we used this uh, CSS function of jQuery to uh, edit CSS runtime. And I can set its opacity to, let's say, hmm, 0 0.75. So let's just, just go ahead and test how it's going to look like. Yep, I hover over it, 
and it's highlighting. But uh, I want to do the same for the mouse living, and I want to set the opacity back to to 0 0.5. So I, I'll just I just copied this the same event, the same selectors, and instead of mouse over, you can say mouse leave. I hope so. I'm not sure actually, guys, to be honest to you, but but it works. Oh my God, it works. Yep. So holy cow, it works. Anyway, uh, you know jQuery is so is so great well it's so intuitive I actually forgot this function for mouse leave and I just typed mouse leave and it worked alright great alright guys I see you I'll see you in the next tutorial and I hope you like this one and if you have any questions just go ahead and ask I'll be looking forward to answer uh, all of them so I don't promise but I'll try alright guys uh, have a nice day and see you soon